What are you looking for in a car? Comfort? Gas mileage? Speed? Toughness? Or you're not sure? Well, the best place to find your dream vehicles is at the Houston Auto Show. We're taking you on a special preview. The Houston Auto Show special is sponsored by the Houston Auto Show, January 22nd through the 26th at NRG Center. Visit HoustonAutoShow.com for details. Hello everyone, I'm David Nuno. Do you remember your first car, that newfound freedom where you could just drive anywhere, but it probably wasn't your dream car? Time for an upgrade. At the Houston Auto Show, you can look, you can touch, and you can test drive your car of the future. Now I'm here at the LA Auto Show to show you what you can expect at the Houston Auto Show. And we begin here at Ford with the brand new Mustang Mach-E. You're definitely gonna stand out with the Mustang Mach-E. No one else can do it. The torque on this car is amazing. This car here is mid five second range for zero to 60. There's an option for a GT model, and we're talking zero to 60 in a mid three second range. The base model's range is 230 miles. You can add an extended battery to get to 300 miles. The Mach-E has two electric motors that take up less space than a gas engine, so you get storage under the hood. The interior is luxurious, but what catches your eye is the 15 and a half inch touchscreen. We have a nice little dial here, so you have some tactile function with it. These cards will uh, change based on your usage uh, in the vehicle, going from Bluetooth to phone to music to Apple CarPlay. As you're driving, you will also have access to everything that you would really need, speed limit, etc., right here, right in front of you. So you can always keep your hands on the, both hands on the wheel and then your eyes on the road. Similar to what you would have at your house, we put a sound bar that stretches all the way across the front dash. Now if you need more storage and great gas mileage, Ford brought back the Escape Hybrid. This gets more than 500 miles of range as a hybrid, so you can go Houston to Pensacola, no problems. No right. problems. In the previous Escape Hybrid, our customers had a big hump in the back for the batteries to help out with that fuel efficiency. Well, those humps are gone for 2020. Uh, the batteries are packaged away so that you will never even know that they're there. So you get all the cargo space and passenger room that you'd have with a non-hybrid model, but you benefit from the fuel efficiency. And you can see we have an all-digital instrument cluster up front, so that will change the way it looks depending on the drive mode that you're in. Every new Ford model in 2019 comes with a 4G modem that provides connectivity online and can support up to 10 devices, as well as you can manage the vehicle through Ford Pass. So you can control that on your phone. You can look at lock, unlock, start, stop, and then also you can see the location as well as tire pressures, even help you with parking. Dodge is celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Challenger. The top of the line Challenger is called the Gold Rush. It has almost 500 horsepower. And that Gold Rush there is available only on this limited. But what we'll be doing is making 70 numbered cars per trim per color for a total of 1,960 cars. So once we build those 70, they're done. That's it. So definitely could be collectible. We have a unique sepia stitch on the doors, on the seats, as well as the IP. This is real carbon fiber and it has a metal weave in the middle to kind of really give it some depth, um, yeah. a lot of character to it. There's also a gauge cluster that is specific to the 50th anniversary with white face gauges and orangish yellow accent. Uh, and then in the gauge cluster, when you start the car, it starts with a cool picture of a 1970, and then it fades into a 2020. And then we got our new uh, flat bottom steering wheel for 20 that's part of the package as well. So just nice little cool touches to make this car special. Mazda believes the all-new CX-30 is very special. It's not quite a coupe and not really an SUV. Its closest category is the crossover. It's nimble enough to handle wherever you want to go, but it has the capacity to seat your whole family, uh, put cargo space in there. The way it's designed, it's very open, it's very flowing, especially the way the center console is laid out. It allows it easy for the person in the front seats to turn to each other, talk. The CX-30 has an 8.8-inch screen that is controlled by an intuitive knob so you'll keep your eyes on the road. You can stay safe, you can control everything you need, which makes it intuitive and safe as well, which Absolutely. is important. Safety is a key feature for all manufacturers, especially Toyota, who's bringing back the all-wheel drive Camry. So every single Toyota Camry comes standard with Toyota Safety Sense. So that includes features like pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure warning with steering assist, 
automatic high beams, and dynamic radar cruise control. Plus, the all-wheel drive gives you better traction on Houston's wet roads. So now we're looking at the RAV4 Prime, and it's a plug-in hybrid, right? That's right. It is Toyota's first ever plug-in hybrid electric vehicle that is an SUV. It has a driving range on EV mode of nearly 40 miles. After that, it switches into hybrid mode. Horsepower is 302 and 0 to 60 in 5.8 seconds, making it the second fastest vehicle in the Toyota lineup, just behind the Supra. It now also has lane keep assist, which keeps you centered in your lane, and road sign assist that'll read the signs up ahead of you and display them in your multi-information display. Also, the RAV4 Prime comes standard in all-wheel drive. You have a high-def touchscreen display. Also, what's new on this RAV4 is the first-ever heads-up display, so it will actually project your turn-by-turn -turn directions and your speed onto the windshield so you can keep your eyes on the road ahead. If you want off-road, then Toyota has some trucks for you. Our TRD Pro Series includes four vehicles from Toyota, including our Texas-built trucks, our Toyota Tacoma and Tundra. We also have a TRD Pro 4Runner, and Sequoia is new to the TRD Pro family. These are for extreme off-road enthusiasts. They have different shocks, different suspension, and they have our Toyota Racing Development badging all over. They're comfortable, they're fun, they're rugged, they're exciting to look at. They give you a sense of what Toyota calls a waku doki, which means heart pounding excitement. Every year we have a signature color for the TRD Pro Series. This year is Army Green. If you want to make your neighbors green with envy, go with this blue. All right, Shad, I feel so much cooler than I've ever felt in my life here in the brand new Corvette. Oh my goodness, tell me about it. Yeah, this is one of those vehicles that you get in it and you just know you look good, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is the 2020 Corvette Stingray Convertible. This is completely new, completely redesigned from the last generation. So this is the eighth generation Corvette. It's a mid-engine exotic and it starts at under $60,000. It's a better car than the ones that start at a quarter of a million dollars. The hardtop convertible opens and closes with ease. 16 seconds, the top comes up, and you can do this while you're going up to 30 miles per hour. Look at that. Such a sleek design, too. That's pretty cool. And there you go. Yeah. It's so quiet in here, too. The vent's not quite a family car, though. That's where the Traverse comes into play. This is the hottest growing segment right here. The crossover segment with three rows so that you can haul seven people and luggage, but it's not as big as like a Tahoe or Suburban. So it's just right in that sweet spot for a family vehicle. If you pack too much gear, there you are. <laughs> you can use the rear HD camera as a rear view mirror to get unobstructed views. Regular mirror, camera. The Traverse is also great for parents whose children are starting to drive. It provides the parent with a report card of how their child drove on their most recent trip. So it's everything from the speed that they drove, whether or not they exceeded a parent's preset speed limit. There's a new feature in Teen Driver called Buckle to Drive, which basically is a technology that prevents the car from being shifted out of park into drive until the seatbelts are fastened, both the driver and the passenger. It also mutes the stereo until the seatbelts are fastened. So we know that a child isn't gonna to wanna to drive the car if they can't listen to tunes. Chevy didn't stop innovating there. The 2020 Bolt EV electric is more efficient than ever. We increased the range by about 21 miles from 238 to 259 miles of range. And that can get you almost as much like a regular gas powered car would. You don't have the range anxiety and there's much more comfort when you get behind the wheel of an EV with that kind of range. The fast charge function allows you to fully charge the battery in just a few hours. And when charged, the Bolt EV takes off quickly. Electric, you have that power right now, right at right. zero. So aside from being environmentally friendly, aside from not having to put gasoline in the car, you get better power and performance. Looking is one thing, driving is another. Let me take you from LA to Houston for something special at the Houston Auto Show. You can test drive over 80 cars with your Auto Show ticket, and it's Rochelle with the Houston Auto Show. Can we go test drive? Let's go. Why don't we have some fun in this Mustang? Let's go. Test driving is huge, too, because it's like trying on a new pair of shoes, right? You, you've got to see, make sure that there's a chemistry, there's a, there's a feel to the vehicle that of you're going to purchase. Of course, you want to make sure the seat is hugging you right. Like in this Mustang, you're you're feeling hugged by the, the race driver seats, race car driver seats. Or you want to make sure the technology has the Bluetooth that you want, uh, the Apple CarPlay or the Android apps in your vehicle. So this is your chance to check out all of those features. Before you can get a test drive at the Houston Auto Show, you will need to sign a waiver, show your ID, and take a breathalyzer test. 
The good thing is you're with a product specialist and not a salesperson. So that product specialist is knowledgeable about all of the features of the vehicle. So they'll help prompt you in questions too. And ask you, what are you looking for? How many kids do you have? Is this a leisure vehicle or is this your daily driver? And you'll be able to make some of those choices. We're trading in this sports car for some incredible trucks. We're going off road when the Houston Auto Show special returns. Welcome back to the Houston Auto Show special where you can see over 800 cars, SUVs, and of course, trucks. Ram is a great place to start. For two straight years, one of their trucks was named Motor Trends Truck of the Year. One reason, the Ram 1500 gets great gas mileage thanks to its third generation eco diesel motor. And on a full tank, this vehicle could get more than a thousand miles of range. I mean, can you imagine not filling up for an entire month? That's the kind of fuel economy and range that the third generation eco diesel will deliver. Ram knows comfort, storage and design are important to their customers. So here's our class exclusive Ram box, which is fully insulated, lit, and it's electrified. So not only can you put your power tools in here, there are drain plugs, so if you happen to be at an event, you can actually fill that particular compartment with ice in your favorite beverages, right. for example. It'll completely drain, but it's fully sealed off. But what makes this particular tailgate more useful is a 60-40 split. So really when you get into it, you have two more two feet closer proximity to the bed, whether you're loading or unloading. Inside Ram has a fully programmable 12 inch touchscreen to monitor all the truck systems and a complete GPS map. And the attention to detail, the comfort, back seats that do front seat things. The rear seats in this vehicle actually recline eight degrees. They are heated and ventilated as well. You have four charging ports in the rear seat for all of your handheld devices or what have you. Look at that. Other manufacturers noted the Ram and stepped up their truck design. Nissan redesigned the 2020 Titan Pro 4X off-road truck. You know, if you see this driving down the road, you know that's a Titan. It looks different than some other trucks that you see. So, so yeah, pretty pretty significant changes here up front. Classy and intimidating too, right? You don't want to run into it in a dark alley. Exactly, <laughs> yes, yes. And, and this being our off-road trim, it can take you pretty much anywhere. The bed has a dampened gate for easy opening. Even better is a utility track system with rails on the sides and bottom of the bed. You can strap down pretty much anything. The biggest change is the infotainment screen. So it is the biggest standard infotainment screen in its class. It's standard eight inches. Pro 4X models and above get the nine inch screen. So if you're looking for a little bit more utility, a little more capability, especially on the towing end of things, we still do offer our Titan XD. You can get up to 11,000 pounds of towing, uh, which is about a 1,600 pound difference between the Titan and the Titan XD. So this is our Platinum Reserve trim level, which is our top premium trim level. So you've got the new leather, new steering well with wooden touches, and then that nine inch screen there in the middle, all new for this year. We have our new Nissan Connect system, which is new for this year. And if you look below, you've got a, a new cell phone holder, which can hold up to three cell phones. We have standard zero gravity front and rear seats. They're specifically designed to make sure that your whole body stays comfortable, especially on long drives. Nissan also has the zero gravity seats in the completely redesigned 2020 Sentra. This car has more power, better gas mileage, and cameras all around the body for better safety. This car has a round view monitor, a 360 view of the top, and if these are these cameras you see right here. And these are military grade glass. They will never break. You haven't met my kids, so you're sure it's not gonna break? Oh, it will not break, I promise. Nissan also added intelligent cruise control for your comfort. So whenever you put your cruise control, you know how uh, you are sometimes in traffic situation, you have to be changing your foot from the brake to, to the acceleration, etc. Well, you put that in and it will keep the distance from the car in front of you and it will pretty much just let your foot rest. One of the great things about going to the Houston Auto Show is that it's not a dealership and there's so much to experience. All right, Rochelle, we're here at a dealership right now, but at the Houston Auto Show, it's kind of a different experience, no pressure. That's right, because at the Houston Auto Show, you're inside NRG Center with 800 different vehicles from every manufacturer, all in one place without any pressure. What is different this year than in years past? So this year at the 2020 Houston Auto Show, we're going to have the Camp Jeep again this year. But what's new is you get to ride the Gladiator truck on that obstacle course. The Ram test track will be back. We've got a whole area of test drives. We've got the classic cars, lots of interactive exhibits, tons of fun to be had at the Houston Auto Show. One of my favorite parts is the fact that you can bring your family, right? It's very family friendly. You kids can play. You can enjoy the vehicles at the same time. That's right. The kids love being able to sit in the driver's seat. They don't get to usually do that. And I always encourage the parents to bring the car seats and the strollers in 
because that's where you get to see if they fit in the trunk. If they're going to be easy to install, it's a perfect place to try everything out at once. When are the best days to come? So the best days to come to the Houston Auto Show during the week. We're open Wednesday to Sunday, of course, but come Wednesday through Friday, we've got $2 coupons at every McDonald's in Houston, as well as on our website, HoustonAutoShow.com. Another great thing about the Auto Show, seeing cars that might be a tad out of your budget. We take you inside some of the fastest and most luxurious cars right after this. How fast can one car go? How soft can leather be? At the Houston Auto Show, you can check out some very luxurious and exotic cars. Porsche kicks things off with their top level 718 Cayman GT4. And if you think it's quick, you're right. 4.2 to 60, almost 190 miles an hour top speed, 188 to be exact. So a really, really quick car. They've improved the aerodynamics further. You can see these air blades here that help guide air. The wing has been updated. The car now has a rear diffuser, producing about 50% more downforce than the previous GT4. That helps keep the car tucked down at the road in high speed corners. So again, a really, really track focused, track bred car, but that a car that is still usable on the road. So I'm considering buying two of these, of course, today, right. you know, maybe three. Right. Uh, I need to have a convertible option, though, I mean, or no deal. Is there a convertible okay. here? There is a convertible here. The 718 Spider is essentially this car with a retractable top, but equipped with the same 414 horsepower flat six engine, six speed manual, GT3 brakes, GT3 influence suspension. So the same exciting drive but with the wind in your hair. Porsche has another exciting drive, the Taycan 4S. This is Porsche's first all-electric sports sedan that seats up to five with a starting price around $104,000. This car has two battery options and uh, produces between 522 and 562 horsepower depending on which battery you choose. This car goes from zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds and has a top track speed of 155 miles an hour. The Taycan's driving range is 192 miles. You can recharge up to 80% in 20 22 minutes with a high-speed charger. Inside, it's all Porsche. Touch screens for the various functions. The steering wheel looks very familiar. You have the classic gauge cluster. Again, the idea is to embrace new technology but have the driving experience feel very familiar to Porsche enthusiasts. Land Rover went to a familiar style by bringing back the Defender. It's tremendously capable off-road and probably the biggest revelation with this car is it actually has fantastic road manners which the predecessor model did not really have. It was a very utilitarian product. So this is a vehicle you can live with on a day-to-day -day basis. This very vertical back, it's a design feature of all of the original Defenders. Alpine lights at the top allow you to uh, more light into the cabin. You can see out if you're driving through mountainous regions. The Defender isn't painted. Engineers opted for a satin wrap. But the really cool thing is it's actually self-peeling. So you might get a little scratch from a branch or something like that. Car sits in the sun, it will flow out and fill that, fill that uh, little scratch in there and, and actually be self-healing. It's kind of like a cut in your skin. It heals over time. The SUV is customizable too. You can purchase different packages to match your outdoor lifestyle. Inside, the Defender has Land Rover comforts. Touch screen in the center, uh, TFT screen in front of the driver. You've got a gear shifter that's dash mounted instead of in the center console. And that's to allow uh, the fitment of this optional seat here, which uh, we call a jump seat. Lincoln's new addition takes a step forward and back in time. The new Corsairs borrowed its front emblem from a 1937 B12, but the rest of the design is all 2020. And so the first thing you'll notice is these seats. These are our 24-way perfect position seats with massaging functionality. So you can customize to get a little rejuvenation or some relaxation while you're on your long journey. You kind of get the sense of sanctuary sitting inside of the vehicle. Of course, I'm going to point out some awesome technology on the vehicle. You have our 12.3-inch digital cluster here as well as our 8-inch center stack screen. All of our great technology features, such as Copilot 360 and Copilot 360 Plus. When you're at the Houston Auto Show, you will see a wide variety of vehicles. And when we come back, we'll take you deep off-road in the latest Jeep and take your entire family to a show in one of the most popular minivans on the road. Plus, we'll tell you how to get discount tickets to the Auto Show right after this. The Houston Auto Show special was sponsored by The Houston Auto Show, January 22nd through the 26th at NRG Center. Visit HoustonAutoShow.com for details. How much voice do drivers have with manufacturers? Well, Jeep just designed a 3-liter Echo Diesel engine for the 2020 Jeep Wrangler because of one reason, aficionados asked. 
that you get on that 442 pound feet of torque for off-roading capability is just phenomenal. So it allows it to traverse any of these obstacles with you know, just much less effort. So you get great efficiency, great driving range, and improved capability. And it's something that our owners have been asking for. With 29 miles per gallon on the highway, this Wrangler can travel just over 500 miles between fuel stops. We've got a lot of the safety features that you've never been able to offer on a Jeep before, including forward collision, blind spot, rear cross path, adaptive cruise control, but it's still a Jeep in that everything you see here, one, is functional. So all the screws and rivets, these are these are not decoration. This is not ornamentation. These are really, this is the way it's put together and this is the way it's assembled. But if off-roading isn't your thing and hitting the road with your family is, you'll want to check out the 2020 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid S. And that S package brings the style. Inside, you'll see the stunning Rodeo Red Napa leather seats, the S logo on the seat backs. We've also paired very popular features with the Red S model with forward collision warning, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, lane departure, 360 surround view camera, and much more. Chrysler has sold over 15 million Pacifica since its inception. Comfort is a big reason for the popularity, so is convenience. The seats are also power reclining, so those in the third row do not have to sacrifice comfort. And then our tri-pane panoramic sunroof that actually has a third row fixed glass. So when you're in the rear of the vehicle, you do not feel like it. You still right. have that open airiness that the rest of the cabin has. You press the button and the front seats automatically move forward, giving you the room to stow. The floor mats are attached to the floorboards. Pull up, push forward, it stays in place. And very simply, you pull the stow and go tab, the seat will collapse and accordion into the floor. Now that's just a fraction of the over 800 cars you might see at the Houston Auto Show. And here's a couple of tips for you. Wednesday and Thursday are your least crowded days at the Houston Auto Show. And if you need a discount, check out abc13.com. We've got you covered and don't forget to sign up for a test drive. All right, I am David Nuno and I'm going to go check out some more cars.